the most important concepts for investors to understand is reversion to the mean. It's also widely used in statistics. The phenomenon was first observed by Francis Galton in the early 1870s. And this is the machine he designed himself to illustrate it, variously called the Galton board, probability machine or quickunx. It has got his handwriting on it. Um, and his handwriting is a, a set of handy instructions as to how to use the device. We have to turn it topsy-turvy, as he said. As I let it go, all the little ball bearings feed through the funnel and they're channeled through the, the quincux pattern of nails and there at the bottom, every time you do it, you get the normal distribution of the bell-shaped curve. So why the bell-shaped curve? Well, it's all to do with what mathematicians call binomial distribution. For every single one of the balls, whenever it hits one of the pins, it's got a 50-50 chance of going one way or the other. And what the device demonstrates is that the odds of one of the ball bearings hitting pins and constantly going to the right, for example here, is considerably less than the odds of it travelling and coming into the middle. Why Galton was interested in this was because he wanted to understand about the laws of heredity and how traits are passed from parents to their children. This bell-shaped curve became rather iconic when a Belgian statistician called Adolphe de Quetelet observed that if you measured for an individual trait within a population, you always got the bell-shaped curve. Investment author Mark Hebner believes Galton's machine is an excellent way of illustrating stock market returns, so much so that he commissioned a large replica which takes pride of place in the office of his firm, Index Fund Advisors, in Irvine, California. One of the results that's really interesting is going forward you should anticipate about half of those returns being greater than the average expected return and half being less than those returns and the further your return ends up being from the average the less likely it is to occur. The probability machine in Mark Hebner's office is eight feet tall so to help spread the message far and wide he's produced a desktop version and here it is it's called the random walker. Investors are constantly surrounded by noise. People are telling us to buy this or sell that. Well, this machine teaches us humility. In the short term, prices are random. Returns could be very negative or very positive. If we stay invested and globally diversified, the long-term outcome we can expect is pretty much constant. And that is the second and rather reassuring lesson for investors from the Victorian genius Francis Galton.